I'm joined now by Khalil Roundtree, who will fight Alex Pereira for the light heavyweight title at UFC 307 in Salt Lake City, live on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. What were your emotions when you got the call from the UFC? What emotions did you experience when you got the news that you were going to get the shot? So very surprised, um, very grateful. I was happy, excited. Um, all all good emotions. Um, yeah, <laughs> all good emotions. It, it, it was amazing. You know, it was revealed, I think, recently that you almost considered retirement a few years ago. How did you fight off those thoughts and persevere to where you're now at the top of the sport fighting for the title? Well, around the time that I mentioned retirement, um, I was living in Thailand. I had been to that, like, I'd made the decision that I wanted to stay there forever. Um, it, it, I was happy. Uh, I was okay with living more of like a simple life. And... I also wanted to fight in the Muay Thai stadiums if I could. And I couldn't do that under UFC contract. Um, so I was kind of battling back and forth with like my happiness and like, do I want to be here? You know, just give up my stuff back in the States because I felt like I was going to live there forever. Um, and I had to, you know, just kind of make a shift. And that shift was deciding to you know, if I was going to move back to the States and pursue UFC, that I was going to be 100% like 100% in um, with every intention of becoming champion. And so I just blocked out any other, you know, focus points. And I just kept my focus on one thing. And that was where we are today you are on a five win fight win streak you've kind of run through this division lately with four finishes when it comes to him how is he different from the opponents that you faced recently i mean i think that like his experience just makes him different i think everyone is different every single person no one is the same a lot of people are you know he's maybe struggled in the past in the past with that southpaw style so do you think that what is he gonna see that's different from you that's gonna allow you to win this fight yeah i mean like i can't really say it's it all i know is that, like i'm coming to bring my best right <laughs> yes like i'm a southpaw uh maybe he's struggled in the past with southpaws um i'm not necessarily looking to that like to use that as an advantage like no matter what um, I think the world knows that we're both very dangerous. And so like, that's my approach to this. Um, I think that, you know, like the guy's smart, uh, experienced and yeah, like he's maybe struggled with some Southpaws in the past. I've struggled with other stuff in the past, but I think the both of us are going to show up and, uh, we're going to do our absolute best against each other. And that's really what to expect for any viewer. Can you talk about fighting in Salt Lake City? Because obviously that can be a different animal with the elevation. I know you train out of Las Vegas. I believe you're, you arrived to Utah a little bit early. Has, did your training camp change in preparing for this fight as all, at all because of that elevation? It changed in a, in a way of like we just added some more stuff. Um, I added, you know, weeks and weeks ago of, you know, getting – acclimated going out to different mountain ranges you know around the west coast um getting my body used to you know being up high and i've been here um for almost a week now and i feel great now <laughs> you know like it it's yeah it's different it's tougher for sure you can it's definitely tangible uh but i'm still prepared like i still like i said i feel great um and it's 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 interesting to add this little piece to you know to this fight that like hey we're on the top of the mountain you know it's a little bit harder for both of us so like yeah it's, it's gonna be exciting so someone that you have had some publicized beef with in the past sean strickland it's kind of been on social media the last week or so that he's joined your opponent's camp uh what do you make of that do you think that's some gamesmanship on the part of Pereira's camp at all not really sure um and to be honest the like the last time i spoke with Sean Strickland was in person. Um, and he personally shook my hand and, and apologized for anything wrong that he said. Um, you know, he, so like, there's really no, <laughs> there's really no issues. So like, in, like, in my opinion, it's not my concern, you know, <laughs> like who's in whose corner or camp, like, I don't, it's not my, it's not my concern, you know? What about his fighting style? Obviously he's in a different division, but what about his fighting style? Do you think what Pereira might've said, we got to bring this guy in. He can help us in this aspect of the, of the fight. Well, probably wrestling. Yeah. It's the only thing that makes sense to me, really. 
Yeah. I want to talk about, you've been very open about your struggles with mental health as a human and as a fighter. You've kind of become an advocate in the space, encouraging people to speak out um, when they're struggling with mental health issues. How have you dealt with it specifically as a fighter? And what would you say to other fighters coming up in the ranks and just other humans in general about how to deal with mental health issues and, and the some of the struggles that you face? You know, I'm getting to a point right now where looking back at my life and the journey that I've been on to get here and going through what I went through, I think the biggest difference that, or the biggest thing for me was I just made a decision. I like, I really made a decision to like, to change and to better myself and to kind of combat the stuff that I was going through. And my decision was to train. My decision was to challenge myself and kind of face some of my deepest, darkest fears head on instead of trying to cover them up.